Well, welcome back. We have all our parts cleaned up and we have our fork legs refinished and uh, painted up just like the factory and we're ready to put everything back together. Okay, we're ready to install our seals. And to do this, you can do this a couple different ways. Here's my seal. Um, you can, I'm gonna use a uh, bearing and seal driver here that is the appropriate size. Uh, you want to just be just slightly smaller than the seal you're going to install down into the leg. Uh, if you don't have this tool, uh, you can use something like a socket. Uh, choose one that is, like I said, uh, slightly smaller than your seal because you're going to have to hammer it down in there. And then, of course, you can't hammer in this open part, so you're going to have to get like a block of wood or a piece of metal to be able to hammer on. But uh, this is a good way to improvise if you do not have a seal driver that has this flat uh, edge here. Okay, another thing before you get to installing your seals, is you want to make sure you install them the, in the correct uh, orientation. You'll see on one side, uh, there's a little uh, spring and a lip. Now, if you paid attention on how these came out, this should always go down into the fork. Also, another thing is you want to make sure you have everything cleaned out of the center before you do this, uh, because if you need to still wash them out, you're going to potentially contaminate your new seal uh, when you do this, if you don't do that beforehand. So, most seals you can kind of press in there, get them started, and I uh, protect my legs. I'm on a block of wood with a, uh, a rag on top to protect the finish that I just applied to these. And then you want to put your seal driver on top there and, and then take your hammer and just lightly, they should go pretty easy, but this, using the seal driver uh, ensures that you uh, will install them flush and square into the fork tube and just drive them home. Okay, your next steps is as simple as just putting everything back the way it came out. In this case, there's a little uh, retaining washer and then our, uh, our little snap ring that fits into our groove there. And that went in pretty easy. Sometimes you might have to get a uh, screwdriver to help press it in there. And that, that's just to help hold the seal in. I mean, it's, it's pressed in there, but uh, this just hold, helps hold the seal in. Okay, now we're ready to install the uh, fork legs in, into uh, the sliders. And what I like to do first is I'll take a little bit of oil, um, a little bit of fork oil, and just uh, you know coat the coat the lip of the seal. Um, this is just uh, aid in letting the uh, the upper fork tube, but the slider. Um, slip past the seal more easily and prevent it uh, from tearing out. Even though you may see the uh, end is tapered, uh, it can still be catch and be a little sharp. Now, uh, suspension shops have there's protectors called like seal bullets is what they call them. Uh, and if you're doing a lot of them, you might want to invest in them, take them apart. That'll keep, keep you from damaging new seals and such when you're installing them, but when you're just going to be doing it basically for the first time, or one time, uh, it's not really necessary. So just slide it together, maybe do a little twisting action until it bottoms out. And uh, I have the spring in here because that will push on the damper rod because, as you remember, there's a little bolt that goes into the bottom of the leg, and then that's what holds the uh, damper rod and the slider from coming out of the end of the fork leg. Well, we have everything put back together. I have the uh, drain screws back in the bottom of the fork legs. 
I have some fork oil here measured up, ready to put in and fill it up. Uh, you'll get the spec for how much you go in out of your service manual. Uh, most service manuals will give a quantity or it may give a measurement where you use a uh, fork level gauge and I'll show you that a little bit later but this is uh, telling me we use 175 cc's of oil per leg and you want to be as accurate as you can and as far as oil or lubricant just use any quality fork oil uh, the weight you should um, use is totally dependent on you but there are some recommendations in the service manual actually this bike uh, recommended mixing different weights of motor oil back in the day there weren't always specialized fork oils uh, you could even use automatic transmission fluid in these was another recommended lubricant but I'm going to use a uh, quality five weight fork oil Well now all we have to do is put the uh, fork caps back on. And sometimes this is easier done with the forks in the triple clamps because you have to push against the spring to get them started. Well, we got both forks filled up with oil here. And I wanted to show you the other tool that uh, can make this job easier or some forks, this is how you uh, set the oil level. It's used with this tool. It's basically a syringe with a long tube and then it has a uh, an adjustable stop here. And uh, you have to read your service manual to get the spec, but you you set this depth of this tube to a certain depth uh, with the forks collapsed, springs out, fill your forks up with the oil almost all the way full or most of the way. You stick this down on to the top of the fork leg and then suck out the oil until, until obviously it won't suck anymore because the level has gotten to the end of the uh, tube here and that sets your fork oil level. Now this is very common in uh, upside down or inverted forks um, but read your service manual it tells you how to do this. Uh, when you buy the tool it also comes with an instruction manual that tells you how to do this but the specification that you set this to uh, will be found only in the service manual because it will vary by different types of fork size and manufacturers. Well, that's it. As you can see, with really no special tools outside of this, depending on the type of forks you have, uh, changing fork seals, changing the fork oil is actually a pretty straightforward pro process no matter what type of forks you have. So, until next time, I'm the Junk Man, like my Facebook page, and thanks for watching. Three, two, one. Well, welcome back. We're ready to put together our forks. No, that's not very good. Three, two, one. Well, welcome back. We got everything cleaned up and we're ready to put our forks back together. Try again. Three, two, one. Well, welcome back. We have all our parts cleaned up.